All right, so I know this is a first when it comes to the Technically T channel, man, because first of all, a lot of people compare phones versus phones. You got cameras compared against cameras. And here I am at 8.06 a.m. in the morning on this Friday, and I'm comparing cases. But shout out to my channel member, man, Pat McLaughlin. He was like, AOT, hey, when are we going to get that sheath versus Smartish video and I was like, you know what man? I need to make that video because when I was praising the sheath and you guys know you've seen my if you haven't seen my top 10 case videos the sheath is my number one case I've been a huge advocate for that case this year because they could Kadabi makes great cases and they continue to make great cases But I think more people need to know about them So I've been pushing this sheath not only that but it's an amazing case and it checks every single box that I need when it comes to a case but then everybody was like, yo, T, you need to check out the Smartish Grip Monk because I think you'll like that case and it may give the sheath a run for its money for the number one case. So I was like, you know what? Reached out to Smartish and they sent me their cases. If you haven't seen that review, I will leave the both of them down below. Amazing, amazing cases from Smartish and you guys were absolutely right. But now we are finally going to do the verses to see who is the top dog case, the Kadabe sheath or the Smartish Grip Monk. Now, this is the first time I've done this. I'm not really sure how I'm gonna do it. You know, we, we we off the dome over here. We don't put a lot of thought into it. We just go for it, and you're gonna get the results that you're gonna get. So first of all, we're gonna compare the cases that's outside without the actual phone in it, and then we'll put the phone in each case and kind of go through each one of my review protocols, buttons, lay on table, tape, lay on table section, grip, um, fit, everything like that, MagSafe, strength, you know, everything like that, we'll kind of go through each one. And we might be flipping the case back and forth on each phone, so just bear with me. We'll kind of polish up this process as we go along. So here it is, man, Kadabe Sheath, and here it is, the Grip the grip Monk from Smartish. I always get these mixed up with the Gripzilla, man. The Gripzilla is right here. I'm not sure if you guys want to see this one. This is the Gripzilla, but this is a little bit more thicker, a little bit more heavy-duty protection, so I decided to go against the Grip Monk because I think these two cases right here compare with each other. All right, so first things first, let's go ahead and check out the thickness of both. And looking at these two cases, it seems like the Smartish may be a tad bit thicker then the sheath and let's go ahead and look let's go ahead and turn them around button side might be a tad tad bit thicker if i can say so all right just a little bit thicker than the sheath so that is already not not i'm not doing really a point system but i think i would give the the thickness maybe to the sheath because of course the iphones are pretty good size phones when you're talking about weight and different things like that and i probably would say that the sheath definitely wins of it being a little bit thinner than the actual grip monk all right so that's that's that there they both have that raised up camera protection so you don't have no worries about that at all i think it's more raised maybe on the grip monk itself might be a little bit more raised on the grip monk to just give you that extra bit of more protection and uh let's look at the insides all right let's take a look at the insides of the cases both of these cases are magsafe and that's a plus because i hate seeing in 2021 this is the iphone 13 magsafe has been around for a minute i hate seeing cases without magsafe all right case manufacturers get on that we need magsafe on everything all right just figure it out it's not my job to it's your job to figure it out so magsafe now when you're looking on the insides of these cases you'll see that the sheath just kind of has the material of the actual case on the inside but when it comes to the grip monk it has a felt lining on the inside with that magsafe so when we are talking about probably protecting the back of your phone for more of longevity and things like that and not debris trying to get in there and scratch it up i got to give this w to the grip monk because they have a nice soft finish material where the kadabe isn't rough or anything it's just smooth and it's a nice little you know it's a nice little feeling they got the serial number for the case and then you got those magnets and then you got kadabe and you know what they talking about right there but yeah so i would say on the inside i would definitely have to give it to the grip monk in that category now everything else you can see the buttons because i do want to make a note of the buttons now when it comes to the sheath you guys know they have buttons that has those you know air slits in them so they can kind of click and be a little bit more clickable when we are talking about the buttons now i think the power button doesn't necessarily have it if i'm not yep the power button also has those little air slits in it and sometimes people don't like that because debris can get inside and kind of get trapped in there and maybe get into your phone and scratch it up and different things like that so i gotta make a note of that but when it comes to the grip monk they have closed off buttons all right there is no slits there is anything going on when we're talking about the buttons so that's a good look there if that's something that you care about i personally doesn't really matter to me because i've ran these cases with those slits 
in the buttons for a long time and nothing seems to have been the issue. So something to make note of when we are talking about that. Now, natural feeling in the hand. All right. So, well, you know what? Let's just go ahead and get to putting the phone in and then we'll just kind of talk about it one by one. So first up, let's go ahead and put the sheath on and you guys already know when it comes to the grip and everything on this case it doesn't have any like substantial grip on the sides this is just the material of the whole case where i feel like definitely has a good grip when we are talking about just the whole case in itself definitely has good grip that goes all the way around it doesn't seem too rough on your hands but in my opinion i think the sheath does feel pretty good in the hands and it definitely gives me a nice level of grip now i've seen some people say that they think the sheath is slippery I don't know, but I don't find myself thinking this phone in this case is slippery at all. But that's just my point of view. So that's what we're talking about when we're coming to the grip. So like I said, we're going to do some swapping around and just bear with me. But let's take a look at the actual grip monk. All right. Now, the thing about the grip monk is if you can see right here, it has gradual waves. And that is basically exactly where your hand is going to be placed when we are talking about grip. Now, I haven't seen another case do this before. And do I like it? I kind of do. Now, it's not as dramatic as it is here on the Gripzilla. You can get, definitely get a good representation right here. So on the Gripzilla, you have deep grooves and you can even see them. But when it comes to the Grip Monk, you can barely see them. But it's just enough to be able to find your hands in those grooves. And also, although the back of this case is kind of a smooth matte material, on the sides, they do have a stippled type pattern that's going to give you that grip that that that's going to give you that extra grip so i really if you ask me who has the better grip between both i'm probably going to give it to the smartest just because of these finger grooves and the dedicated material that's going all the way around it for the grip you can't be dedicated material that's going around there for the grip so yeah grip monk i gotta give you the trophy on the grip because i mean hey hence your name so i like what you got going on when it comes to the grip going around the case now since we already have the case on the phone, let's check out the buttons, all right? Because you know buttons can make or break a case, and that just can be it. It can buttons can destroy a case. So buttons, they're good. They don't really give you a super tactile feel. And that mute toggle switch is definitely wide, very easy to get to. So the buttons, they're okay. They definitely could be better when we are talking about the grip monk. And I already think the sheath is probably gonna win. Yeah, these are a lot more tactile. Mute toggle switch is a little bit more tighter to get into, but these buttons definitely are better on the grip monk, on the on the sheath. I'm sorry to say that, but they are definitely better on the sheath. So the buttons, in my opinion, is definitely better on the sheath. Now, since we also have them up here, let's go ahead and talk about the, the how it fits on the phone because you know that's my number one thing about a case is how a case fits on a phone all right so you already know where when it comes to the sheath this is the reason why it's my number one case because the fit is a one on top of them giving me everything else i need in the case so let's go ahead and check out the fit so the top super snug going around that left side it gives a little bit when it comes to the buttons but that's to be given very snug as it comes down come all the way down very snug down here even when you pull it it's enough thicker material for it to snap right back into place doesn't feel like it's going to form over time and coming along this side here very very snug gives a little bit when it comes to that power button so very nice fit on the sheath i have not it's, it's just been amazing and then we're talking about taking it off and once this case is up there this bad boy is up there and it isn't going anywhere the fit has been absolutely amazing i've been using this probably since i've ever had my 13 pro which has been a month now and i don't have any issues with the fit it's never popped off on its own or anything like that so let's go ahead and go over to the grip monk all right let's see how this bad boy right here fits in your hand and actually fits on the phone so top very snug same snugness actually gives that same give when it comes to the buttons Coming down to the sides, it's very snug. You can put it apart. Coming down to that bottom, same kind of deal as the sheath. It may give a little bit easier than the sheath, but not bad. Coming along that side, very, very snug, and also gives right there when it comes to that power button. Fit, when this pops up there, it has a nice pop as well. It gives a little bit, it comes off a little bit easier on the bottom. But that is easier because it makes you feel like you can get the case off easy. But this right here also has an amazing, amazing fit. If I had to give the edge, 
I probably would have to edge it out with the sheath because at the bottom, I feel like it does fit just a little bit better. It's easier to come off on the bottom than it is the sheath. But when I'm talking about a narrow, if this is a 10, this is a 9.7 when we are talking about the fit. So in my opinion, both of these fit extremely well and it's kind of hard to give one or the other. But if I had to, I probably would have to give it to the sheath simply off the bottom. I feel like fits just a little bit more snug. Now, Next thing up is lay on tail protection. I almost forgot about that. All right, so when you look at this case right here, and we move this off to the side because it's trying to it's trying to focus on it. I don't know my camera's cooking out right now, but I have a tempered glass screen protector on, and you can see it has a faint lip that goes all the way around it. Not anything deep when it comes to the lay on tail protection, but it has a nice little lip when it comes to it. So if you guys saw that little lip, let's go ahead and check out how much of a lip that the sheath has and let's take a look at it. So here is the sheath and it has just about the same lip that goes all the way around it. Now I have dropped my sheath already before and I haven't had any issues. I dropped it actually pretty hard. It wasn't this one, it was the gray version of the case, but I dropped it pretty hard and uh, yeah, it wasn't too bad. So yeah, so looking at it all around, it has about the same lay on the tail protection. So I probably would have to give it a tie when we are talking about lay on the tail protection. Now. Next up, MagSafe, all right? Because you guys know there are some cases that have some strong magnets out there. And we want to go ahead and test them out to see which case has the stronger magnet, all right? So let's go ahead and do this. And you guys know if it's able to pick up this stand right here, that's strong magnets. And it, it won't pick it up. It kind of wants to pick it up off the table a little bit. But that's a very, very confident magnet right there, all right? So... Once again, you know, Kadabe does have their own magnets, boom, on the inside. So that's a very confident magnet. Once again, you can see the magnets on the Grip Monk as well. So let's see how this bad boy here does. So it's not trying to pick it up. So I have to give this the magnet to the sheath. The sheath has a stronger magnet. Now, is this a weak magnet? No, by any means, this thing can pick it up. It can do very good finding the MagSafe, but you can just tell that the sheath does have a stronger magnet when it comes to this case, but yeah, see, it's not trying to pick it up at all. So when it comes to the magnet, I have to probably go ahead and give it to the sheath once again, because this does have stronger magnets. And I guess last but not least is how does it feel in your hand? And I already have to say that I probably like the feeling of the Grip Monk in your hand once again, simply because of the finger grooves that you get on this case. It just feels very good in the hand. Yes, it is a little bit thicker, but when you hold this in the hand, this feels good also, but you kind of miss those little grooves. I feel like the grooves help you just put your finger right in there and it makes it just be a nice experience when we are talking about gripping the case. So when it's in your hand and the way it feels in your hand, I probably have to give it to the grip monk. And then overall texture, all right, just overall texture of a phone, I probably gotta give that to the sheath like this. You see how the back and forth is going on with these two cases? I probably have to give it to the sheath because it has this grippy material all the way around. No matter how you're holding, no matter how you're gripping this case, it has the material all the way around where the Grip Monk just has that gripping material that goes around the sides of it. And on the inside, it's very smooth. If it's matte, no fingerprints, of course. And it's more of a smoother type design. So for the overall feel, I probably the texture have to go with the sheath just because I like this textured finish. Now this can easily go to the Grip Monk for someone who may not like a bunch of textured finish on their case. I understand that as well. And it can probably easily go to the Grip Monk if that's gonna be your thing. So yeah, um, and I guess the thing that we have to talk about is the price, all right? So let's just go ahead and do this live, all right? Let's look at the prices live when it comes to these cases, all right? So let me pull it up real quick. Kadabe. All right, we're going to go to the Kadabe website here. Okay, and then we're going to go to Boom 13 Pro products, iPhone 13 Pro, and let's go to the sheath. As you can see, the sheath is going to be running 35 bucks with MagSafe, and you see the colors that they have. They have black, gray, uh, navy, and they also have a ultraviolet, which is coming soon. I'm anxious to get that style in here so we can check a look. So, the Kadabe sheet is going to be running you 35 bucks. So let's go take it over to Amazon real quick. Let's go to Smartish iPhone. 
13 Pro case. And let's go to the Grip Monk. It's going for, and let me turn the brightness down so you can see, 20 bucks, 19.99. So 35 bucks for the Kadabe sheath, 20 bucks for the Grip Monk. And you already know price is probably one of the most important specs there is when it comes to a case. And this is priced very nicely. And you can see they do have different colors basically the same colors that they have for the sheath. You got black, you got a bluish here, you got a violet here, and you also have some more designs here as well that you can choose from. So I feel like to give you more designs on the actual Smartish Grip Monk for you to try out. So this is my first battle when it comes to cases, man. Kadabe Sheath versus the Grip Monk. And if you have to say T, you gotta go, you gotta do a winner. Who is the winner? I'm probably still gonna have to go with the Kadabe sheath, all right? Just simply because how strong the MagSafe magnets are. Even though I love the grip of this case, I love the grip going all around this case. I like how much of a thinner profile it is. It is a little bit more thinner. The fit is definitely a little bit more snug on the bottom where this tended to pop out of the bottom a little bit. I do like the material on the inside, but this sheath is just well constructed and I, I just like it. It's minimalistic. There isn't any crazy branding, although the branding is Kadabe's little logo here, Smartish logo there. No crazy branding on either one, but overall, how it feels in my hand, and I'm not saying this because I'm trying to keep this thing number one. If there's a case that beats this, it's going to be a case that beats it, but it comes close, but I still probably going to have to give it to the Kadabe sheath. But let me know how you guys like this style of video. It was, I'm looking at my camera, we're talking about 18 minutes long. I don't want a video to be that long, so we might have to be able to condense them. The further we go along, if this is something you guys wanna see me do more, we're talking about comparing cases to each other, let me know and we could probably get it going. So let me know what you guys think about this comment section, about this video in the comment section. I'll leave the purchase links to both of these cases so you can go out there and grab yourself up one. Two very, very good cases. You can't go wrong with either one. And you already know, man, do the YouTube things, man. But make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn that bell on so you don't miss out on any accessory videos and also more of these versus videos when we are talking about cases. But every guy, everyone, please be safe. Catch you on the next one. Later. <music>